So I love pets. I'm not I'm not really a cat person, um, but I like uh, I watch a lot of stupid Facebook videos with um, you know, crazy people who have like raccoons as pets and they rescue like baby deer or foxes and stuff like yeah, that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. I, I love animals too. I actually, um, I, I don't know if you know this, but I grew up in Togo, West Africa. And every night before my kids go to bed, uh, they want to hear an animal story. Um, and I, I used to have literally, they used to call me the animal man of Africa. Okay. Uh, and all my African friends would, would bring me different animals from the jungle. Okay. And like, for instance, I had a, a pet monkey called Peanut. That's awesome. Uh, tied, and he, he lived in, a, in the mango tree in front of our house. We tied him up. He was a red civet monkey. Okay. Um, and then I love birds. I had uh, pigeons at one point. Um, then I had a big cage behind the house. Pigeons are funny because you can, if you feed them, um, and you keep them in a cage for maybe like a month. Um, and the trick is sugar water. Give okay. them sugar water. Uh, when you release them, they'll come back to the cage. So I had a, a growing flock of pigeons. And a lot of people don't know this. It's actually a sport mm -hmm. in a lot of countries. Uh, I know when I lived in Jordan in the Middle East, um, in the big city, you would often see these big flocks of pigeons okay. flying around the city. Okay. And I, I talked to one of my friends and he said it's actually a competition between pigeon owners. Uh, and what would happen is if, if you had like a really big flock, mm -hmm. sometimes it would it, it, pigeons from other flocks would join your flock and you could gain pigeons. Okay. I mean, it's kind of like stealing, right, but right. everybody knew that was a competition. Cool. Let's see if I can... I can spell that. Is it a G E O N? Pigeons. Yeah, you got it. Um, or guinea pigs too. I didn't get that in there. I was afraid to try to spell it. I'm don't tell anyone, but I'm a terrible speller, right? So, hey, we got somebody with us. Um, who, what's your name out there? Do you have a favorite pet? Do you have a pet at home? If you uh, message us on the side there, we'll we'll uh, we'll know who you are. We'd love to hear from you, man. So yeah, we had we had uh, pigeons, and that was a lot of fun. Had a monkey, um, had snakes. Okay, that's yeah, good. yeah. Always a lot of snakes. Yeah, python, rock python. How long? Um, so were you responsible for feeding the python too? Oh man, yeah. 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 yeah what did we, you keep them in? I was gonna say if you can, you have to weight the tank down pretty heavily on top, right? So that. Oh yeah, we actually had a pretty large one that was about five five feet maybe. And we had we kept them in a big um, plywood crate okay. with like a screen top on it, and he actually I mean we put a huge block yeah. on the top I remember, mm -hmm. uh, but we'd feed him mice or rats. Okay. And uh, I, I remember he he escaped. Yeah. I mean it was strong enough to get out. So, yeah. Um, but I, I always do you have any funny stories with animals by any chance that. That you can remember something happening, or uh, animals are always funny. If you, maybe from camping, or but I don't know. Probably not as many as you. I mean, you grew up in West Africa, so I'm sure you got. A, I got a few. Yeah, you must have a few gems. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a few. Um, they, unfortunately, you know, there was a guy that came out and visited our family, a friend of the family, mm -hmm. and he said the worst place in the world to be was was in Josh's zoo. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong. I mean, I loved my animals, but um, it seemed like in that environment there were a lot of predators. Right. So just as an example, I, I remember I had a cage of finches. It's a little bird, yeah. and they're real pretty. Um, I had a cage of those, probably five or six of them, and I, in the corner of the cage I had a little wood box with a hole cut in it. And I remember one morning I went out there, and the birds weren't flying around. So I looked in the hole, in the box, and all I could see were two beady eyes. And I, you gotta be careful, because a, a lot of poisonous snakes in West Africa. I pulled the box out, and inside was a, a, a viper. And it had, it had four lumps in its stomach. It couldn't get out of the box, because oh, it couldn't fit out right. the hole. <laughs> but it, it had eaten all my finches. What kind of viper? I, okay. 
Not sure. Okay. Not sure. I just remember prying its mouth open and it had fangs. Okay. And, uh, and killed it, of course. Okay. But um, yeah, it was. It wasn't always a a uh, lovely place to be at my zoo because things would happen. But I sure love my animals. There's not sure. Let me see if I can find it. Take a, a picture of a. Well, um, there's a there's a TV show I'm kind of a sucker for. I think it's on National Geographic too. Um, oh, nice. Those are, those are great videos, too, by the way, for people just interested in learning English. It's, oh, it's great. It's called, you should check it out. I've watched I've watched all the episodes, I think. Um, uh, three seasons so far. The show is called uh, Snake City. Oh, nice. So it's, uh, it's about uh, this couple who are snake rescuers. So they feel calls from all around the city, outside of the city, and then they pretty much just take off and they go rescue snakes when people call in about snakes that have kind of gotten into their their domiciles or just like within the workplace. So there's really cool stories there. They're they're awesome with snakes. So you yeah, I'm yeah, like fascinated cool, by cool. it. So very, very cool. Really interesting. Now now you, you, you told us in the last show that you were down uh, in Brazil. Is that right? Yeah. Did you see any kind of, I mean, different kinds of animals down there when you were down in Brazil? Not really animals, mainly cockroaches, rats, <laughs> mice, <laughs> so it's things, yeah, things you kind of didn't really want yeah. inside the house. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I did see, uh, I went with my, I traveled with my parents to um, an house, which is a city in like the in the Amazonian region of Brazil, and we went on like a three-day river cruise. Nice. Um, so, nice. did see some, like a uh, caiman, uh, saw a sloth fall out of a tree. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, so wait, let me get this straight. You were on a boat yeah. on the Amazon River. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, the Amazon River is huge, right? right? Yeah. Um, and you saw, what's a caiman? Uh, similar to it's like a tiny alligator. Oh, really? Uh, okay, yeah. so it's like an alligator. Yeah. Okay. So. And where did you see it? Was it like floating on um, water? Well, yeah, you can see it floating on water. I mean, the best time to actually go out and see them was at night. So okay. um, pretty much you just go out on a boat and you paddle around and then you just shine the flashlight around and you just, you can see their eyes. Interesting. Um, Do people hunt them for food? Yeah, people like hunt that? them. Um, also, we caught uh, uh, piranha. So okay. fish for them was pretty cool. We just you took like a you had like a little bit of like rope, and then you had a hook at the end of it, and then you just put a piece of rubby. You just dunked it in, and oh. within about three four seconds, you just pulled it up, and you had you had a piranha on there. Yeah. Can you eat pretty, these? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We had. Uh, how how big are they? Okay. I mean, this one's like that big, then I guess there's like far larger ones, so. Now, and what, why are they famous? I mean, everybody's, I mean, if you know English, you, you've heard horror stories about these fish. Yeah, so I just, um, they're pretty much, uh, ability to, they're carnivorous appetite for. Carnivorous, now there's a word. For carnivorous. Any type of, yeah, like whether it's human meat or, but I heard like the only thing that really, sets them off is like the scent of blood in the water. So if you're just in there, like they won't. They're not going to attack you. Yeah. But if you get cut or something, yeah. you, you got to get out of the water. Yeah, I, I am, I'm kind of obsessed with another show called River Monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. I love, I love all these nature programs that I can use. Put that one up there too. That's, I, that, that's, that's a great way to work on your English actually. It's called River Monsters. Yeah. Do you know what, um, where you can find it on TV? Is it in uh, Netflix? Animal, Animal Planet. Animal Planet, okay. Animal Planet, Animal Planet and Hulu have, uh, yeah, I don't I don't have cable, so I it's all pretty much tuned in. Yeah, I tuned in on Hulu and Amazon. Sweet. I mentioned that Hulu and Netflix. So, okay. I love this program. I've seen like, six seasons. <laughs> awesome. I gotta go check that out. <laughs> yeah, you you would love it because they, they travel to like Asia, Africa, oh. so there's crazy stuff that they that they encounter in the Nile. And, oh, nice. So they pretty much, it, the show is about this guy who hears stories about all these kind of almost mythological creatures or yeah. Uh, yeah. that uh, inhabit the rivers in really um, far off places and he explores these areas and, and pretty much 
in every episode. Time. Yeah, he goes after like a different type. Nice. So, <clears throat> what other country were you in? You were in Peru? Was it Peru or Ecuador? Ecuador. Yeah, Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah. Isn't it, doesn't Ecuador have like a monster condor? Or is that uh, Peru, Peru, Peru? Any, any? I think it think might be Peru. Peru, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Interesting. I do have to tell one story. I, I actually visited South Africa. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they're famous there for Kruger National Park. I didn't actually get to go to Kruger, but. We drove about halfway up the, the coast. I was in Cape Town in the, on the southern tip of South Africa, and we drove up the coast toward Port Elizabeth, mm -hmm. and we went to a lion park, and it was it was it was amazing. Yeah. Um, this is this is a great advertisement for South Africa. It is probably one of the most beautiful places on earth. Mm -hmm. And in a matter of like thirty minutes, you can be from the beach up into like the hardwood trees and the mountains, and it's just amazing. But So we went to this lion park, and we were in these Jeeps, and the crazy thing was the Jeeps did not have any windows or sides on them. Right, right. <laughs> and I remember the, the guy, the guy driving, he had no weapon on him either, just a walkie-talkie. Yeah. And there were like two or three other Jeeps, and we split up to look for the lions. Mm -hmm. And I remember asking him, like, what happens if, you know, and of course, it's like going into Jurassic Park. There's like two sets of fences, yeah. and they're like 20, 30 feet high. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you kind of go in the first gate, and they close it. And then while you're sitting in the middle, before you actually go into that lion park, the guy's like, we have a few rules. Like, no standing. Uh, do not use flash on your camera. Uh, no loud noises or sudden movements when we find the lions, mm -hmm. right? And um, I remember asking him, is it safe, right? Like, everybody's thinking it. I mean, is it safe? What, if, what happens if the lion attacks? Mm -hmm. And he said, listen, it, it, it's only happened once. Okay. And he said, uh, it, it, the lions are used to us coming in, so it's, you know, it's pretty safe. Uh, so anyway, I'm like, okay. And he said, By, and, and I said, you don't need, do you have any kind of a weapon? What happens if... Hypothetically, one of the lions attacks our jeep and drags one of us into we the sacrifice leaves. someone. Right? And so I said that, and he said, "Well, you know," he said, "If that were to happen, I mean, it, it, it's not like we can save you at that point." I like that exactly. <laughs> I thought, right? So we find the lions. We pull up to them. The other van's already there. It's a massive male cat, cape lion, mm -hmm. um, and we're probably no more than, you know, thirty feet away. And the lion's sitting there, and we're sitting real still. The other van, the other little jeep leaves. Yeah. And we're sitting there looking at it. This thing starts growling. And they, and you could hear it. I mean, it made, it, it was just a powerful, like, roar of a lion. I mean, you, don't, you don't think about it, but when you're there, they say that that roar can be heard, like, three miles away. Anyway, this lion decides to get up. And I'm not kidding you, it jogged right up to the Jeep. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like stone still, seriously. I mean, it was right next to the Jeep and it was looking at the driver. And it kind of looked at us, it jogged around the Jeep. Mm -hmm. And I'm on this side over here, right? Yeah. It stopped and you could hear it gurgling in its throat yeah. and it just kind of like, it just kind of stared at us. <laughs> 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 I, dude, I have never been so scared in my life. I was about to pee my pants, like, literally. But, I mean, nothing happened. <laughs> it's getting warm in here. Um, but it, it was freaky. It was it was also really neat to get to see that. Yeah, it's a lion. It's a very scary animal. Lions. Very cool. Um, all right, so I've got an idea. Uh, we actually have one viewer with us. Do. And so we're, we're going to kind of wrap it up um, with a little game. Picture it. Okay. Um, I'm going to, we've got one viewer, I don't know who it is, but I'm going to have you draw a picture. Okay. <laughs> and it could be any animal, um, but maybe maybe we can focus on pets. Okay. Um, and, and let's see if the person watching can type in the name of the animal. Um, as you as they figure it out, all right. Are we are we being a little liberal with the pets here? 
Yeah, we're being very liberal. Okay. Um, so it could be a, any animal, really. I don't care. Um, and I don't know. Uh, hey, who's who's out there with us? Um, let's just see what happens here. All right. He's going to draw an animal. It, as you're watching, if you know what the animal is, uh, just type it in the and message to the message to us. Uh, if you're watching this after the fact, same thing on YouTube. If you're watching this and you know the picture, um, type it in there, and then I'll, later I'll go back in in the comment section and put the correct answer. All right, Chris, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no. You can do that. If I start off with the eyes, though, that might be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's laughing because there's a picture uh, of an uh, animal here. Terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, Interesting. Yeah, anybody have any ideas out there? Don't worry about spelling either. <laughs> okay, we're getting close here. I, I, I might know what that is. Hey, who, I'm curious, who's out there watching? You, if you can message us, um, it'll let us know who's watching. What do you think? Hey, that's not bad, man. You're not a, you're not a bad artist there, friend. How old is it? Not bad. Wait. Uh, is the nose significant there? Yeah, it is. know what sound uh, oink oink what sound it makes all right cool hey we're, we're gonna leave a mystery I mean if, if nobody guesses what I'll do is I'll go back in later and uh, give the answer I'll go into the video and uh, down below and give an answer should have yeah take a picture of that too well oh, I was gonna uh, we could we could create a little poll in our in our group see if people maybe, maybe I can draw a better picture Oh, nope, that's actually not entirely bad. <laughs> Maybe the ears could be pointy. I'm going to take a quick pick so that I have it close to the knee. Nice. All right, let's, let's, uh, do we have any guesses out there before we move on to another animal? All right, let's let's try another animal. You want you want to uh, you want to draw? Yeah, I'll draw. All right, right. I'll draw an animal. All right. Oops. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm a, by the way, I'm a terrible, terrible drawer. Tied to a mango 
tree in front of my house. So um, 